In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this assembly. It's part of the Button Maker project. It's the uh, subassembly base. And then I'll show you how to create this drawing. I'm going to start out by uh, going to your IED folder on your desktop and find, locating these two parts, uh, part number 14 and part number 40, and dragging them copies of them, copy them into your uh, button maker folder. And start by creating a new assembly. I'm going to place my components. I'm going to hold the control key down and select part 13, 14, 16, 17, Part 40 and selecting open. I'm going to position the, the base plate with uh, the countersunk holes facing up. I'm going to select this command here, view by face, and point to this face. I'm going to Set this as my uh, set current view as front. I'm going to go to my uh, base and I'm going to ground it. I'm going to move it up as the first place component. I'm going to uh, constrain, install these uh, vertical supports. I'm going to use constraint. I'm going to do an insert. And I'm going to grab this uh, radius here and insert it there. Hit OK. I'm going to drag another vertical support onto my assembly. Same thing I'm doing with the constraint and insert. Grab this diameter. Insert it into the end hole. Hit apply. I'm going to turn this upside down and I'm going to insert, zoom in. I'm going to do another insert command and insert this, grab that inside uh, diameter and insert it there. Come to the screw and the same thing, insert. Before I do that, I need to hit my apply command. I forgot to hit my apply, hit apply. And I'm going to uh, do another insert. And I'm going to grab that radius and set it right there. Hit apply. And uh, I'll leave it to you to place the other four feet into the assembly. I'm going to place hex nuts on these two threaded vertical supports. Uh, before I place the first one, I'm going to go ahead and drag another one out onto the onto the uh, window, and I have two. I'm going to zoom in, and uh, I'm going to do uh, another constraint, uh, an insert. I'm going to grab this uh, radius and insert it there. Hit apply. I grab this radius, this diameter, and that diameter, hit apply, cancel. I'm going to create a drawing, but before I do, I'm going to verify that descriptions on my parts are correct. I'm going to open, uh, hover over the uh, base plate and hit open. Select High Properties, Good Project, and uh, verify that there's a 16 next in the part number field and that the description says Base Plate. Hit Close and Save.
go to the rubber foot, right click, hit open, uh, go to the eye properties, right mouse button, eye properties, go to the project tab, and make sure that the part number says 13 and the description is rubber foot. Close and save. Go to the vertical, vertical support, right mouse button, uh, hit open. Go to the eye properties. Go to the project tab and verify that the part number is 17 and the description is vertical support. Hit close, save. Uh, go back to your assembly and uh, verify one more time that uh, this is your front view. I'm going to create a new drawing. I'm going to place my base view. Let's change the scale to one half. move this up slightly and right click on this uh, on the border of this front view right click and say project view and I'm going to project a bottom view I'm going to go to annotate I'm going to place a uh, parts list I'm going to select this front view and hit OK Place my parts list in the corner there. This, move it in, grab here, move that in. Make this wider. I'm going to position my cursor in the center of the bill of material and I can drag it and place it. Should look like that. I'm going to place my balloons. I'm going to uh, hit escape twice and I'm going to hover over this, right click, and say uh, attach balloon, and I'm going to zoom in and uh, point to the screw. I'm going to add some text. I'm going to come up here to leader text and point here and approximately here continue and type in uh, 2 space capital X and one more time a leader from here to here Uh, hit escape twice and I'm going to uh, select this leader line and right click and uh, delete leader and do the same over here delete leader and the reason I do that is because uh, this text if I didn't attach it to this view if I were to move the view the text would not follow the view so I need to uh, trick inventor into knowing that this text belongs to this view. So I'm going to do the same uh, 
over here in this view here. So add a leader text point here. time here. I'm going to change the title and the uh, author. Uh, go to uh, this icon, right click, Eye Properties. Uh, go to Summary and change the title to Subassembly Base. And uh, under Author, change that to your name. Hit Close. Export to PDF and submit the PDF to LMS to complete your assignment.